This year marks the 130th anniversary of diplomatic ties between France and Korea. Although the two have maintained close ties in various fields, this year will be celebrated with even more events for cultural exchange. Let's head to some of these events to witness the cultural interaction and understand the future of the Korea-France partnership. The Lascaux Cave Paintings, Paleolithic heritage from France, are being exhibited in Korea. It is dark like a real cave in the exhibition hall. Visitors witness the lifelike and dynamic paintings of animals painted by ancient humans. These cave paintings discovered in France in the 1940s have been dated to about 20,000 years back. The exhibition building for the Lascaux cave paintings also made headlines, being designed by world-famous French architect Jean Nouvel. The opening ceremony was a celebrated affair with politicians from Korea and France participating with about 300 guests. Official diplomatic ties between Korea and France began 130 years ago with the Korea-France Treaty. Since then, the two countries have been cooperating in all areas from politics to economy and culture. Since 2010, the two countries have had annual summit meetings and agreed to designate 2016 as Korea-France year to celebrate the 130th anniversary. The official opening ceremony of Korea-France year was held in France. It was participated by many high-ranking officials from both countries, including Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-wan of Korea, Laurent Fabius, former Prime Minister, and Fleury Perrin, former Minister of Culture of France. The performance of Korean Jongmyo ritual music at the opening ceremony was sold out, reflecting the great public interest. Former Minister of Culture, Fleur Perrin, shared some special sentiments with regard to her Korean heritage. Korea-France year events in Korea was also diverse and colorful. A French food festival was held in Gwangamun Plaza to introduce French cuisine to the Korean public. French choreographer Jose Montalvo collaborated with the National Dance Company of Korea to perform a reinterpretation of Korean traditional dance. The Seoul Spring Festival of Chamber Music put together a concert of French composers under this year's theme, Scent of France. On top of government-led events, active exchange and ongoing in the private sector as well. In mid-May, about 30 French architects visited Korea. They were from the French Architecture Research Society, AMO. The purpose of their week-long visit was to study the modern architecture of Korea. When we met them, they are visiting Haiti Village in Paju. Haiti Art Valley in Paju, Gyeonggi-do Province, is like a living work of art. Over 15 buildings here are award-winning examples of modern architecture. Amo 
프랑스에 가서 뭐 뭔가를 보고 배우려는 뭐 그런 일방통행적인 그러한 경향이었었는데 한국에 더군다나 현대 건축물 위주로 견학을 하겠다라는 것은 그만큼 우리나라가 문화적으로 성숙했고. The 130th year of diplomatic ties is being marked with more active engagement than ever before, deepening the bilateral friendship. What are further efforts needed for the two to continue building on the mutually beneficial relationship? 한국도 유럽처럼 또 프랑스처럼 어, 역사도 오래되고 문화 예술의 깊이도 있고 그 문화 예술의 전통이 지금도 살아서 새로운 것을 만들고 있다. 뭐 이런 것을 살려보자고 하는 게 제일 큰 취지고요. 또 하나는 프랑스의 경우는 우리가 패션 뭐 예술만 알려져 있는데 과학에서도 그렇고 경제도 그렇고. 또 여러 가지 학술적인 부분도 그렇고 굉장히 많은 부분에서 우리가 한번 보고 같이 해야 될 필요가 있다. Let's hope that cultural exchange on the 130th anniversary of diplomatic relations lead on to further cooperation in politics, economy and academia. Here's to a bright future together for Korea and France.